Okay, chapter number three. It is uh, designing simple website using composers. So let's start the quick chapter summary. Our first uh, point it is uh, website. So website it is play a very important role in the business, right? Nowadays, so when we create a website, website it is uh, a collection of interlinked web pages for a specific purpose, right? So it will help us in promoting the business. selling the different types of products and attracting the large number of customers right and challenge however it is uh, in the creating a website it is interactive user friendly and providing accurate informations to the user right informations in the website it is contain complete as well as the relevant information right after that if you want to plan for the website you have to uh, clear the purpose of that website audience uh, contained and the medium right so purpose it is it is clearly identify clear for the definition and goal right so after that audience it is expected users website should contain general as well as the detail information appropriate content and the different types of proper layout content it is complete and relevant right and Content should be classified into these two categories: uh, that is, general categories and uh, the detail categories. After that, uh, medium, right? It is compatible with the computer, smartphones, tablet, and the different other web browsers. After that, when you create a website by using Composer, right? The uh, uh, process. After that, the menu options are given. First of all, if you want to insert table, go to the insert and table. then if you want to insert image go to the insert and image option right after that if you want to insert the horizontal line go to the insert and horizontal line fourth option if you want to create a link then go to the insert and link if you want to change the text color then go to the format and text color after that if you want to change the page title then go to the format and page title and its property and if you want to publish it that website then go to file and publish If you want to add tables in the Composer software, so go to Insert and Tab options. There are two tabs: Table and Cells. This is the table, and the second one it is Cells. Okay. After that, the, you can define the size, number of rows and number of columns, or the height and width. It is specifies in that pixels or in the percentage of windows. You can specify in that borders and spacings. Right. So borders on the table. specify uh, spacing is used to specify the gap between the different cells right so padding gives the gap between the edge of the cell and the text right so after that third one it is table alignment you use the left center and right alignment after that you add captions give captions to the table of table if it is required and you add background color to give background color to your table right if you want to insert image then go to the insert and image options after that image locations tool tips alternative tags and the dimensions are given right so you add the image locations you select it right and then click okay right after that the publishing website it is the first home page right it is the first page that opens when the user enter the url address in the address bar of the web browser after that home page Right, it is the website save as index dot html. And if you want to uploading to publish the website to transfer the web pages, images, and the CSS related to the site to a web servers. Right after that, ESPs, internet service providers, it is offer the limited space. After that, you have to select the web host. It is provide the limited free space for limited time period. Right, and the file FTP means file transfer protocol. After that. cookies are there so cookies it is the variable that stores on the com on the users computer right and useful as they provide the feature to the remember and track the preferences different purchases commissions and the different other informations it is stored in the computer javascript can be manipulate the cookies and using the cookies properties of the document objects right so cookies can read create modify and delete it after that composer software it is web of web development software and web authorizing system software it is freely available on the site 
right on the internet composer.net and it is open source id software id means integrated development environment right and it is easy to fast to design web pages because of what you see is what you get right after the second software open source software it is aptana studio right so it is powerful open source id for building a web applications that it will provide the language supports of the html css javascript ruby rail php and python right so it creates uh, php rails ruby or web right you can create different projects after that provide a complete web or development environment it come with the large number of additional plugins right and uh, la aptana studios it is 2.0.5 also known as aptana studio 2.0 and you can download it from the site aptana.com third next one it is the blue griffon right it is open source web so web software it is based on what you see is what you get html editor it will support the different types of languages like the english dutch german and chinese and it is simple user interface it, it will create attractive websites without requiring the deep technical knowledge and blue griffon version is 1.6.2 and you can download it from the site bluegriffon.org next one it is amai it is developed by the worldwide web consortium right it is a w3c and it is freely available on the site on the internet it is again open source software it is what you see is what you get based web editor yeah, initially started as the html or the css now grown into the editor for the many xml based systems right and you can download it from the site it is w3 w3.org slash amaya right so this is the end of chapter number 3 summary thank you